Welcome, Gemini Cancer, to your end of the month reading for October. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, this is kind of late um, within the end of the month. Um, these readings are actually going to roll into um, November, about the 4th of November. Okay, I'll write it down on the uh, description of the video itself. Um, sorry about that. I have midterms with my son, so I have to take care of him. Or doing videos. So, getting straight in here, with your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. And I also hope you guys have a great, wonderful Halloween. Okay, getting straight in here. And you might want to watch for those videos because probably right after these are done, I'll probably just start popping them off as fast as possible. <laughs> Try to catch up. Okay, before Pisces and starts, right? Okay, guys, let's go. We have Eight of Cups. Look at that. Moving forward with success. Knowing exactly where you're going, you're saying, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I have other projects that I want to get done. Um, so it does feel like there is a huge transition um, for the perfect timing. We see the moon up there for the perfect timing. There might even be something a little hidden, um, which is interesting because I just heard it. There's something a little hidden from the situation. Um, but you are moving to higher ground um, and feeling like you are progressing. You have the knowledge that you need, but like I said, there is something a little hidden that you are not seeing um, just yet. So we're going to see what the heck that, that's all about, right? Because I just heard that. Movement, choices, and decisions. Wow. So you do have some movement, choices, and decisions. That might be what's going on within this hidden area. Uh, maybe there's something you kind of overlooked. Maybe there's something coming in that you, is a surprise. I don't know. We're going to figure this out, right? What is going on over here, Lord? <clears throat> okay. So, with the movement, choices, and decisions, it's like you put a lot of thought. Like I said, you've used a lot of knowledge and a lot of intuition to get to where you are. The moon is also bringing out that intuition, saying you've thought a lot about this. You've dug deep within yourself, and you've got that light, but... Something hidden. Four of Swords. It's kind of giving a little anxiety, though. Maybe there is a little unknowing, right, of exactly how something's going to go down. Um, Knight of Pentacles, wherever you were before, it was just not working. It's it's just... For some of you, I want to say the word was, it's compromised. Well, the work is compromised. The situation is compromised. I don't know who that's for. But otherwise, it's just showing it's not growing. It's not going anywhere. It's definitely um, at a standstill. It's it just feels like it's not growing. When it's compromised. I have the two of wands over here. The two of wands are saying, I still have the choices, movements, and decisions to make about the situation. So I'm still looking out to see exactly what, what these choices are. So it feels like there is more than one choice um, that you can go um, by over here. Here, what's going on over here with the Knight of Pentacles, why it's compromised and or why it's at a standstill. Take it how it resonates. Maybe it's two in one for both of you that I'm picking up. There's two different people that I'm picking this up for. Ten of Cups. It was happy. It was. It brings in a lot. It, it was happy. It was satisfactory. But then something was learned. It's infiltrated. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's compromised. It's infiltrated. You got a new boss. Something like this happened. Maybe your, your company... Oh, it feels like a company. It feels like your company was taken over maybe by another company. Sort of like, well, when Sears bought out Kmart. You know what I'm trying to say? That type of thing. So it was compromised. And then when they came in, it's like they, maybe they demoted everybody's paycheck. They, um, something happened to where it made it stay still and maybe no one got a pay raise. Something of this nature. And you're starting to learn that it's not going to grow, that nothing is going to go the way you want it to go. 
And it's very, it's kind of depressing because it feels like you had, for a lot of you, it feels like you had a down, got money taken away. Everybody got demoted. That's it. For a lot of you, not everybody, but the groups. Whoever I'm picking up over here, you got demoted. Uh, take it how it resonates for you guys. Dock and pay. So you got the Four of Swords over here. It's just giving you anxieties, but you know you need to walk away. You're trying to think about what's going on. You have success. You know something is is, is progressing. Like you know exactly where you want to go, but there's a lot of different areas to go. Um, you're getting very depressed over here because you know you need to walk away from this situation to get to where your Ten of Coins is going to be because this is not going to build. This is not going to bring in the success it used to bring in. You haven't heard any word on anything changing. And so if you felt like in the past, maybe it was a couple of weeks ago, if you felt like something was going to change, you have never received that message. Right? Like there's nothing. It's almost like it was just a complete checkmate. There's nothing you're going to do. There's no strength to this company. There's no strength to this, this job. At all. You know the craziest thing, you guys? I, I think I'm actually picking up someone who works for this, the shipping yard. That's, that's crazy, but I think I am. You know, the cargoes that are sitting at the docks, and I think I'm picking up someone's energy who is either husband or wife or themselves or working at this sh these shipping docks. They're waiting for the cargo to be able to be moved. I keep hearing it. And they're waiting for the turnaround to say, you guys can go back to work, you can bring in the shipping, you can do your job. I don't know who that's for. If one of you are doing that, but yeah, something like that, you know what I mean? And that's a good example. I mean, how, how good of an example is that, right? But I'm telling you, somebody is doing that. It's, it's yeah. They're waiting for that opportunity. But they don't know how long they want to wait. So no matter what the situation is, <clears throat> whether you work there or not, it doesn't even have to be, right? No matter what it is, it's like you're waiting for the opportunity to wait for it to turn around, but you're getting tired of waiting. Like it's it's been a couple of weeks now. You're getting kind of tired of, of watching. You're trying, getting tired of waiting around to see if this opportunity um, for them to change is going to, there it is, the change, right? So you're, as you're waiting for this, you're saying, well, you know what? If this doesn't change, I have choices to make. I need to figure out what I'm going to do. I have the perfect timing. Maybe that's what's hidden. I don't know. What's hidden? Chain of supply, that's what it is. I hope I can say that on YouTube. I don't even know if that's, if that's legal or not. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Okay, if this, this video gets demonetized, I'm going to take that out, and then, well, I will call it CS, I guess, I don't know. <clears throat> you don't let us say so many words, but that's what it, that's the one person I'm picking up, right? And for others of you, right, you're just kind of like in the same area. It's like, I'm just waiting for this opportunity. I'm waiting for them to tell me when this is going to happen, or is this going to happen, Right? It's like you're wishing upon a star. You're very hopeful that this will have this turnaround sooner or later. How long could it last, right? So it is. It feels like you've been, it's been, your job's been compromised. No matter what it is for a lot of you. You know, I don't care if it changed hands to another owner. Um, it just feels like it's not going the way you want it to go. And you're waiting. You're waiting for them to break. It's really waiting for them to wave a white flag and say, okay, we surrender. We, let's all go back to work now. You're waiting for the inheritance. You're waiting for them to give you what you guys deserve. And it, it feels like it's not just, for some of you, it's just you. And for others of you, it's just your company. So you take that how it is. 
you're waiting and making decisions, but you still don't see the turnaround and you want that. But what is hidden? We're going to figure that out. We're not going to let that go. If spirit doesn't give it to us right here, we will 100% figure out what's hidden. I think, I just know it's just on my mind. What is it? Because this situation is not turning. So you're going to have to make a new decision of where to go. So it's a good thing. You're already thinking about making new plans to walk away, to find something else, because right now it doesn't look like it's, anything's changing right now. Now that's crazy because remember what the words that I used for the shipping thing, because that's a big thing. <laughs> and that'll give you kind of an idea of what, wait a minute. It's almost like global news, right? <clears throat> okay, so we didn't even know we were getting global news. Okay, so so it's showing there's not. Um, but anyways, it's showing you have to make a leap of faith over here, and you're going to have to take a risk. Are you going to stay where you're staying, where it's been, well, let me say compromised, um, or are you going to literally walk away because you're already thinking about it? You're intuitive enough to understand, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I need to um, plan something to go on with my life. Yeah, there you are again. Now you're doing it again. You're doing exactly what I said you were doing, intuitively looking at your choices. So now you're really digging deep. You're saying, uh-oh, it's not, it's not changing. My blessings are not coming in. Um, something is going on and it, it's nothing I can really, you can't manifest that. It is what it is, right? There are certain things in life we can't manifest. It's just the way things work, right? So you get a bad judgment call. The bad judgment call is pretty much telling you the cycle is not turning. That's why you are getting in. That's why you're saying, oh, okay, that's it. That's it. If it's not going to turn, then there's no reason to hold tight to it anymore because I don't have any control of this situation. You can't manifest this. This is not in your hands and it's not in your, um, it's just, it's not. It's in God's hands. It's, it's all over the place. It's nothing we can do about a, a situation like this. So you're patiently planning for the next move. Here you go. Now we're really patiently planning and you're letting go because it looks like you're patiently planning to let it go to continue to keep moving because now you know. Okay, so now we know there's not going to be this turnaround that you're looking for at least within November. Okay, so you're getting these ideas that, you know what, it's hurting my paycheck. It's hurting my family. It's hurting myself. You know, if it's me, my dog is hurting my dog. You know, I'm not going to let you do this, right? My livelihood, it's not going to, you know, I'm not going to allow that. Um, so now we're going to go, what is hidden? So if we don't get there, it's going to be on my mind, and then it'll drive me crazy all day saying, why didn't you do that? <laughs> Might end up doing it myself, right, and then trying to throw you a an eight-minute video just to tell you what it was. <laughs> That's a waste of time. So... Tell us what is hidden. So what is it that's hidden? What is it that they don't know? Tell us what is hidden. God, now I have to look at this from a whole different aspect. Um, hold on, guys. Okay, give me a few seconds. We got a lot of cards over here. Okay, I'm going to pull them and I'll show you what they are as soon as I get them out. They're coming out really weird. They're coming out in doubles, doubles, and then triples, okay? We're going to, and I have to use my ultimate high priestess over here to get this done. <laughs> I have to, that's for me. <laughs> okay. And then there's that, but that's crazy because I told you I was talking about those ships. And here's those ships docking those, oh my God, that's so crazy. Okay, so let's keep that in mind, okay? Just I mean, if you guys are curious about what's going on with that, I think the Spirit's giving us the answer. Okay. So, this one's going to be a little different. Digging deep. Okay, so guys, we got the, the two cards that came out together here is going to be the, the Four of Cups in reverse with the King of Wands. This is saying that this King is keeping it in his... This would be your boss, right? This is your authority figure. This is definitely the authority, that boss who's doing all of this, right? The company itself, the boss, however. Take it as it resonates with the four. So it's saying that there is, okay, hold on, because we're going to go to career over here. I want to look at that really quick. I, I want to get this perfect. That's four of cups in reverse. Okay, this is saying a missed promotion or advancement is a great disappointment. Don't take rejection at work personally. 
you were overlooked because you need more experience in your field. So maybe they're saying, and that was what that was compromised. Maybe they believed that all of you, this whoever came in, right? Just take it how it goes. Okay. So that's that's pretty much what this. I'm telling you, this is what this emperor is saying from this point standpoint. Okay, and then we have the emperor coming in. So it's just saying that this is there's just all this sadness and all these things going on and disappointment and depression that's keeping there. But the king knows. That's that's kind of sick though if you think about it. The king knows what he did, and he's sure of himself. That's what's hidden. What's hidden is they know exactly what they're doing. They were they were prepared to do this. That's what's hidden. What you didn't understand is whenever this went down like this, they were prepared for this to happen. So there was no overacting, um, overreacting to them because we're going to say the big bosses, these people, they knew what they were doing. The big boss has been, okay, is overthrowing everything. And your boss may have been overthrown by this company, right, when they came in and infiltrated, uh, compromised by buying the company or however it is, right? Maybe they were fired and they got a new boss, however it is. Take it how it resonates. Okay, but Spirit's saying, think hard about your readiness to fill the shoes of your predecessors, right? So how are you going to do that? Well, the best thing you're going to probably do is just move on from the company because there's not going to be a whole lot according to the Four of Cups that you could really do. Okay, because it says you're unhappy about the way the events are unfolding. Causing a frustration in understanding the situation, well, of course. Okay, so we have these two. But remember, they know exactly what they're doing. And then it causes frustration, right? <clears throat> and they're happy about it because they feel like they're getting exactly what they're getting out of it. Why? I don't know. Next two cards coming out of what is hidden within the situation is the lovers upside down. So when we go to the lovers upside down and we're looking, we're, we can only say, okay, well, this is causing some kind of um, loss. It almost feels like it could be an illusion in your head because you're saying, how could this even happen to my job? This is crazy. Okay. You've suddenly found out that the work has been exposed in a different light, that everything is going awry. Okay. And it's not growing. Okay. So they're, it's like you're waiting, you're waiting for the potentials to change around, but it's not going to. It's almost like you're waiting for them to say, I'm, I'm done with this, this energy. So what is hidden is pretty much saying, what I'm really getting out of this is that this was all precursored, right? There was a precursor to all this before it all came down. It could have been precursored from, you know, September before they took over this business. So it's saying it was already, remember, they were prepared for this. They already knew it was happening before it was happening, okay, within your business, right? So you're having the realizations. Now you're going to have the realizations that they're trying to improve what they want to improve by downplaying everybody so that they can, it almost feels greedy. So what, that's what's hidden. That's why it's not going to move the way you want it to. You would have to wait a while um, for it to actually turn away, uh, turn around the way they want it to turn around so that they, that way they get the finances out of it that they want to. So this card, card is actually talking about you escaping from a bad job or the needing to consider breaking away from this job for better opportunities on the horizon. That's, you know, and that's exactly what you're doing. So that's not really hidden. It's actually, that's more like intuition, but that's fine. Because the, the, what's hidden is the understanding that this was all done way before you guys even realized your company was going this well. Of course it was, because if they were bought out, they would have signed a contract at least a month or two ago. But the crazy thing is, is the bosses and the people who own this already knew this was going to happen. Now, this one comes out in threes, which is very interesting. So you have the page of coins, the page of cups. And then their moon, and that's that hidden. But the hidden in the near future, I'm telling you, this one's near future because this is hidden now and this is the near future. We'll have a realization that this is exactly what's coming to light. So now it's almost feeling like this is what's coming to light. 
What you had was in darkness is now going to have that. What is it? Guilty of not supporting their people. Literally. Okay, so you have the page. Let's get the page of coins really fast. So it says, what? Resenting your fellow co-workers. They may even think that you guys are resenting each other. Uh, okay, let's put it this way. How about some of you could say, they're still making the money and we got all of ours taken away. Maybe one side of the company, I work in, uh, and maybe we're the stock people and we got all demoted, but all the cashiers got to keep their money. So there could be this frustration between the two sides, right? That's for some of you. Right, because you're saying, how come you get to keep your money and how come we've been all demoted? Um, but it's causing all this thing. But when it comes to this and the company of what's hidden and what's coming to light is the greediness. Well, I just said that because they were looking for more money by taking away your insurance, um, your money, demoting you, however, whatever is going on, taking away your hours, whatever it is. It's because they are greedy and they want more money from the situation because they know that they just are nose diving in finances. So by taking money away from you or making you lose hours or whatever the hell is going on, they're making their money back. That's what's hidden. Wow, that's what's hidden. Again, what's hidden. It's more than meets the eye when it comes to hiddenness, right? So you could say our company is going to crap so they think that they need this. No, it was all pre-organized. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Page of Cups. Man, I don't know. It would be one of these videos would be like, I don't even know if this resonates, but this is really interesting. Okay, so then you're going to say they see your apathy. They see your disappointment. They see that you had money plans going awry because they had money plans going awry, but they didn't really care because they kept you all disillusioned through the, uh, the disillusioned, wow, with the moon over here, for... The progress of what they believe was prohibiting progress for the company for themselves. Meaning prohibiting, I meaning holding them back. They didn't see what they wanted to see. They had bigger, better plans. And they're kind of disillusioned because they're, it is kind of disillusioned though, isn't it? Because how are they going to make more money if everybody's leaving? Oh, wait, didn't you see that? What, you think we're slave to the grind? You think we're just going to stay because you took all our wages or our insurance or our this or that away? You're tripping. So they think that this is going to be a fantastic plan. <sighs> but it's going to, it's going to bite them in the ass is what it's going to do in the end. Why? Because they're going to lose more and more workers. Because nobody's going to sit around and just do that. The only ones that are going to really stay are the ones that are like, going to stay maybe until they find another job, right? So maybe they might be there for a while, but if you're not paying the workers what they need or you're taking away their benefits, no one's going to want to stay for that unless they 100% have to because, like I said, they can't find another job at this time. Um, so you're using your intuition um, and waiting for the perfect timing. Okay, so this is saying that the company itself is trying to, this is another one of those, has been trying to build back a financial empire of their company on just their dreams alone. There's the delusion and illusion and a fantasy. Okay. They might even be drowning you in heavy workload in some ways for some of you so that they can try to catch up. But yet you're not getting paid what you're supposed to be paying. And then for I'm going to say it too, that sh shipping docking thing, it's saying, because no one is working, I'm taking that card, look at that, at the end, we're going to go right back to that for a second, because I'm telling you, somebody works there, and they're doing whatever the heck they're doing, right, or cannot do whatever the heck they want to do, um, is causing pain and suffering towards them, but what it's saying is it's end up drowning them, it's going to end up drowning them, because nobody can work, nobody can bring the cargo in. So it's going to, no matter how you're going to see this, you guys, it bites them in the butt. It's all going to be a snippety. They're going to have to escape the situation in the end, this company. But look, you're going to make the great escape more than likely because you guys are realizing this is, I'm putting in too much hard work to get shit out of it. Or I want to work hard and you're not giving me my hours. Or I want to be at work and you won't give me any damn work. 
right? Check out how it resonates. This is concocted. This is ridiculous, right? And that's what was hidden from you. Okay, so now you guys got your answer. And I got my answer too because I really want to know that was driving me crazy. Why is it hidden? But it feels like it was very important to, for you to understand that it was pre-planned. It didn't just happen overnight because some people just think, oh, the new boss comes in. He doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Now we're all screwed. No, they knew what they were doing. It was all done from the beginning. It was all pre from probably a month or two ago. <clears throat> Alrighty, take it how it is. And pray we don't get demonetized for saying crazy things. Till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.